yeah welcome guys welcome to vlogmas day number three i just picked up welcome missing. hey i just picked him up from work y'all he's tired <laughs> it was a rough day huh Tired of bullshit it i think the thing is he's tired of working for people which who isn't tired of working for people. But um, aside from that, we're not gonna go into that. Um, yeah. Today's vlog is gonna be really short. Um, I'm tired, like I'm sleepy. He's you can't tired. Tell fans you're sleepy. We gotta keep on moving. I mean, I'm not gonna stop not vlogging. I just, oh, I just uploaded a vlog or I'm about to upload a vlog or it's already uploaded on my channel. So go check that out. Um, it's about my fitness update. Um, but yeah, just because I'm tired, it doesn't mean I'm gonna stop, babe. You already know me. Uh, he knows me. Like I'm sleepy, but so today's vlog is going to be about Costco because we're gonna get rotisserie chicken to put in our salad. Eat healthy, y'all. Yeah, we're trying to eat more like greens, like raw vegetables into our diet. So. And then what are we doing after that? Uh, going to the gym? Yeah, we're, we're going to the gym, not to work out, but I got to sign a form that I didn't sign. Y'all gonna see what chicken we're gonna get. Yeah. Costco's chicken, woo! Costco. That's the best chicken in the world, y'all. Change our minds. <laughs> Guys, so we just bought this right for Black Friday. We got it for four seventy nine. Look at what it is now. Yeah. And didn't yeah. Cheryl say like there wasn't no Black Friday sales that we definitely got a sale on that? Yeah, that, that ain't no sale. Huh? Huh? Yeah, huh? What is this? A shredder? Radio. Oh my gosh. Um, I need an office. Hello. Oh, well, this, is this stuff can wait. Yeah, really get so awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I haven't even cleaned my room, let alone. I don't have a desk. I don't have any of the essentials. And then you got a, you got a new computer. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, guys. Like, please tell Mr. Ewing that um, we need the basics, like a dining room table, a desk. <laughs> Oh, my hand is over the thing. Shit. He is so busy buying stuff that we really don't need. Like, I need an office. And he talking about, oh, do I need a radio? No. Okay, we're in Costco's now looking for a chicken. Can I get some more? No. What do you want? I'm going to get some more. Oh, oh my God. The Marcus, we came in here for a chick. I didn't come. Oh my, see guys, don't ever take a man to the store with I you. Need you do you need it or you want it? I want it. Well, oh, oh, oh my god, guys. Ew. They're good. This is why, just go ahead and get it. This is why I hate What's taking, like? I don't like any of that stuff. I like that one. I'm a, this is why I don't like taking the Marcus with me because I'm, I'm, I have such a military mind that I come in, I get what I want, right? Or I have a certain list. The Marcus always deviates from that. Like you men never stick to like, the script to like the pro oh my god okay i can't guys look i make my own celery juice look at this it's so cool i know costco was like this what is that oh she just said we they ain't have it y'all it's right here <laughs> he just asked he was like where's the sun chips she's like oh we don't have any and then boom she might be. She must be new. I want the darkest one. They have like the most flavor. Guys, so we got our chicken, right? Y'all yeah, change, chicken, 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 change chicken. our mind. That's a chicken. This is the best chicken. Oh, it's fogging up. Yeah. But this is what we got. I came in here with the chicken. 
And this dude was like, I need chips. I need snacks. No. Yes, you did. Um, you are, dude, really? But it, obviously they can see that I'm telling the truth, though. Like, oh my God. Hey, get out. No, you're already in. Y'all, he's in a grumpy mood. You lying again. What's wrong? And don't complain about the situation. Just tell him what's wrong with you. Y'all should go check out that video we made. It's time to boss up because uh, that's what the issue is. <laughs> the Marcus. <laughs> Del Marcus is having a hard time. Um, you know, he's not an employee. He doesn't have an employee mindset no more. He has a boss mindset, and he's just stuck in between the two. And I'm just like, oh my god! Like, <laughs> talk to talk to them. Like, Hold can on. you pull the mask off? I can't hear you with the mask on. Wait a minute. Oh my God! Get open the door. Dang, man. All right, look. I don't know. It's just, it's just something just trigger me. I don't know. I'm just being one. Ah, leave that door open. Yeah. Look at the camera. Look at the audience. You no, know, I'm getting tired of working for people. Like I keep saying this over and over and over. Like it ain't right. How you on the job? And they treat you like you ain't nothing. Like you do so much work, and you don't get necronized. You don't get credit. Credit due. Oh, keep doing your good job. You're doing a great good job. That's what I want. You know. Like I just don't want nobody to look at me and say like, "Oh, you need to keep on working." Like I get tired of people telling me what to do, man. So I just feel like. No, no, cause I, I, well, I have to deal with your negativity, so you might as well tell you to, because I'm sure tired of dealing with it. <laughs> man, it's been basically, long, um, it's been a long day. Basically, um, um, change our mind about Costco's chicken not being the best. But no, nah, real talk. Um, it's time. Like we really are really trying to be entrepreneurs, and um. It's so damn, it's so hard. It's a little bit on the difficult side. And um, it's easier to like apply for a job and then wait for a check. But then when you're trying to become an entrepreneur, it's like you really are working hard just to get noticed, recognized, and like build your community, which we're doing with you guys. You guys are amazing. Trying to do everything, like everything, trying to put our names out. Yeah, it's a, uh, so, um, that's where we're at. We already know that all this stuff is going to pay off, you know, um, because we're taking a risk on ourselves because we know Shit, that we took a risk of moving out here. I took a risk getting out the military after nine years of service because I hated every day of my life. And that's just real talk. Um, but we doing good, but I just feel like I need, I need more. He's just ready to, we're just ready. I'm to just be ready to be free. We're just ready to be financially independent. I'm ready to be free and I'm you trying cut to. You cutting me off, babe. I'm Dang. Ready not lock up in chains and shit. Like people telling me what to do, how to make, how to, they control my money. So here's a, here's learn from us because this is the conversation I have with DeMarcus all the time. We had an opportunity um, a few years back to really like put a lot of effort into ourselves. However, and life happens, we were very distracted with all the negativity and all the like stuff back in Louisiana that it took our attention away from ourselves. And now that we are in our thirties, it's like we have to work that much harder. So any of you young people out there that have a dream that are in your twenties, don't let no one distract you. Don't let nothing distract you. Stay on top of your goals. Don't think about pleasing other people. Think about yourself because I I kind of, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this this one time on YouTube. I wish that we worked as hard as we did, we're doing now, two years ago when he walked off the job due to disrespect. Um, and we're going to have to share that story with you guys because that was a very pivotal point in our lives but um yeah i, I wish hate, i'm gonna be honest i hate being disrespect like 
I we're can't, gonna, we're gonna I go can't deal with that. Like, people, like, they disrespecting. Like, man, they don't show you no respect. Like, you're a man at the end of the day. Yeah. And like, you, not no little kid, I'm grown man. And he had to do what he had to do. But, like I said, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, um, make a video on that but but this ties into um don't be like us don't don't wait don't like have distractions don't um i feel like this video took a turn but whatever this is the message of the day this is vlogmas day number three this is a message to you guys Mes even even to like people who are our age and older like you have to put your goals first and luckily we don't have a family right now so that we only can focus on ourselves right now we are far away from louisiana we're far away from my hometown so we really can focus on ourselves but that was opportunity missed um back then because i was in the military i was distracted with my job you know i hated i hated my job I, i'm just gonna be real with you i hated my job he hates being an employee and um we had that opportunity yeah, and we tried being an employee and we, again, like and we sat on it like wrong like we sat we i said we we're gonna make a video yeah. on that d like see he doesn't but anyways um yeah i'm gonna say this again if you have a goal if you have a vision for your life do not sit on it don't wait until your 30s like us we're 31 and tr have to work 10 times harder now which is fine because that's a part of our life story and i'm just speaking real talk like and i wish instead of me joining the military i wish i would have chased my dream but i joined the military because that's what everyone everyone was telling me what to do and now i'm out after nine years of service now did it help me along in my journey yeah but ultimately it was not what i was supposed to do with my life so um learn from us okay so I, this was supposed to be about chicken and i feel like we just like preaching but yeah, someone yeah. needs this message well, someone facts. someone like we have we have people in their 20s that watch us and you guys need you guys need like a strong black individuals or a black couple or just people to really like spit knowledge yeah. and um it's real stuff though for yeah because I feel like, Lord, here we go. Nah, I'm not <laughs> really I feel like, like I, you, you do, you do a lot. You try to show people you're great. You're great with every, everything you do. You put your heart and soul in a, a company. Well, I ain't saying this. I mean, I'm not putting my heart and soul in a company, but. You give them, you give them all you got. Like show them you. Oh, I can do all this. I can do anything. But it's Sorry. the respect. That, this is one thing that I'm learning. It's the respect. Like people don't owe us anything. Even though like we put so much into a company, we're loyal. We are hard workers. It's like, and and y'all know I'm speaking facts. It's the people that kiss butt. The people that like. Uh, suck up to people that get ahead and then you got real people like us and a lot of you that i'm sure that watch our content that you guys are putting in the work you guys show up on time you guys don't do anything wrong yeah and you're getting like glazed over you're like, getting like getting... not recognized you're not getting the promotions that you want and all that stuff it's always the real ones though that win in the end and don't ever forget that when it comes to people, especially people of power and stuff like that in these companies, they're going to lean to people who kiss ass. And that's just and that's the same thing for the military too. And I'm just putting it out there. And that's one of the many thousands of reasons why I got out is like the military is like that. So, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's always the the, the misfits. The ones who show up on time, the ones who do the right thing, that will win in the end. And it's, it, I hate to say in the end, but that is how life goes. So, if you a real one, you have a goal, you have a vision. Put in that work in yourself. Still do what you got to do to get to where you need to be at. But also, put yourself first. Because that's why... We didn't do, and that's why this dude is grumpy. No, what kind? Of, <laughs> what kind of job? Don't be. You gotta wait. We, 
it, babe. We gonna make a video about that. But I think I'm, I'm just being me. I just feel like it's it's bull crap because you're working your ass off and like you like. But man, I don't know. It's best to be the CEO of your life. It's time to be your own boss. Like that's what yeah, I'm trying to say. Basically, it's like best I'm to be I'm I'm so much. I'm trying to push. I'm keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Like I'm not gonna stop till I get to the top. Like that's what I'm trying to do. Like I'm tired of this shit, man. This shit is like it's it's like I thank God I got a you know. We got a roof on our head, you know, we got income, but I'm getting like, I'm, I just feel like it's, I need to just be my own boss, like, like, for real. Like, do y'all get tired of people telling y'all what to do? Oh, sit down. Oh, do this. Oh, oh, yeah, fire. Because you ain't listening when I'm telling you what you can do. Oh, if you don't want to do it, you can go home. Wait. Like, but I'm just speaking fast, like, for real. But, all right, this is it. Yeah, be the CEO of your own life because at the end of the day, you are the creator of your life. And if you like that type of content, like, um, you, you'll get more of that on this channel, but also check out yeah. my channel, too. If y'all want to see some more, uh, more motivation videos, y'all need to let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, guys, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, like, comment, comment on this video what y'all think about it. If y'all think about it, y'all think we talking facts. Y'all thinking I'm uh complaining? Yeah, I don't care. I did say that to him because I'm also trying to help him stay, like, think about our blessings. Like, we moved in the middle of a pandemic. If y'all think I'm complaining, we, let me know. But wait, I, but wait. I'm not complaining. Oh, I'm just baby, speaking off. facts. God dang it! Like, she cut me off all the time, y'all. Now it's time me. <laughs> to say what I gotta say, you know. <laughs> this, is, this is uh, like, hey, like this. This, uh, this is literally like if you guys ever meet us in person, and then those who know us from Louisiana or whatever else, this is literally how we are in person. Like, oh shoot, like this ain't we ain't no fake YouTubers, okay? We gonna give it to you real. We're going to give you the good, the bad, the ugly. Like, y'all going to see us, like, because y'all fam, basically. Y'all going to see us at our lowest. We're going to talk hey, about... Hey, y'all might see me digging my nose. I mean, who cares? <laughs> well, they already heard you fart. Right. <laughs> that was an ass one. No, they, there's so many videos where you farted. <laughs> well, I ain't fart on this one. Yes, you did. Anyway, y'all. Uh, well, we got to wrap this video up. Yeah, so, um... Damn, this was supposed to be about Costco. Oh, I guess God, God must have, this message is meant for somebody because this totally took a shift. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day number three. And yeah. my first. <laughs> Look, so I don't know what happened. Something just triggered me. I just feel yeah. like, I just, like, we try, y'all. Yeah, try. like, we, we are, like, and we know all this is going to pan out in, like, literally, like, this video here. We're gonna look back to this video and be like, "Wow, we, we were, we're doing wonderful now." Shit, so. we still doing good, but it's just I, I just I, I want a luxury lifestyle. I but I know that, but we still doing good. But I'm just saying, me. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, me. I just feel like I'm ready to like <laughs> retire. Reti no, I think, I'm talking about retire. From no, work. we trying to be financially independent. Yeah. You ain't got you ain't got wake up when you get ready. You can sleep. All we day. trying to build generational wealth for our future <laughs> kids. That's really that's one of the main reasons why we don't have children yet is because like we don't want them to be in the same situations that we were born into. But I'm just saying. But you ain't gotta you ain't gotta wake up. You can do whatever the freak you do want. Whatever you want, you, ain't, you can do that. One. We gotta listen to nobody. Man. We can go to the gym whenever we can. Like, yeah. if if I say, "Hey, babe, let's go to Cali," we can just drive to Cali. We've never <laughs> been to Cali yet, guys. I know yeah. we're like a couple hours away, but yeah, but uh, should yeah. we wrap up the video? I yeah. feel like, guys. Okay, you know what? This 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 was meant to be because 
Huh. It totally took a turn. We're getting too much now. We're getting too we, much. We got we got some stories for y'all about when we really kind of hit rock bottom, and this was literally after we got engaged. Like we still have to tell them that story, but come on now, open the get out, get out, open the door. Me. It's time to go. Bye, y'all. Dang. Say bye. bye. Sheesh. All right. Subscribe, like, share, comment. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Um, you guys are doing, you guys are doing awesome with engaging with us. And um, <laughs> did you fart again? No. Oh my gosh. I think if you want more smooth. videos of him farting, give this. <laughs> no, that's just. <laughs> 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 This is what this, nah, I'm this telling, made my day now. Yeah. I, I can smile and laugh now, man, because you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just like, I gotta. You know, I this gotta. is us. Welcome to Vlogmas. Again, I think I said it like three. Welcome to UNTV. <laughs> no. Okay, all right, we might wrap this video. All right, Thank y'all for watching. Tune in for the next video. Vlogmas for number four tomorrow. Peace. Bye. You feel better now?